They sleep. Who's up? We up. Who sleep? They sleep. Good morning, Pan-African nation. Good morning, Pan-African Caucasian nation. Good morning, Pan-African nation. Good man, Pan-African nation. Good morning, Pan-African man, Ash nation. I don't know. I stole that from Dr. Umar, but anyway. Good morning. Hyde Park. There is no way if you involved with current events if your life is involved with following the media and understanding what the media and top stories in media there's no way to not have had the conversation with either yourself or with a friend about Diddy P. Diddy Sean Puffy Combs and as much as some people have mixed feelings about it and I say uh it's easy for somebody to say, what mixed feelings about what he was doing this, he was doing that. But there are also people that know a different person. And for some reason, that's the only memory or thought they want to have of that person. Myself in particular, I did not have a relationship with Diddy or Sean Combs or anything like that. Uh, but I do know, and this is where I guess the Dr. Heckle, Mr. Hyde thing comes in. I do know that uh, like what I know of him and my experience has always been on some business, cheerful, happy, good time. And I've had experiences of being around his family with his colleagues' families and have have a different relationship with him. Not to say anything he's done hasn't been heinous, hasn't been despicable. A lot of things have been heinous. A lot of things been um, despicable. despicable. When I think about all of that, and it uh, makes me think about, and I think about the kids. Some people can say they're adults, but he also has young kids. I think about that, and I think about some of the lifestyle that my father chose. No, he didn't buy a thousand bottles of baby oil. No, he wasn't beating chicks and no shit like that. But he did choose a lifestyle that didn't give him opportunity to create relationships that he had with multiple kids. I remember when my dad used to throw go-go's at this place in D.C. called the Washington Coliseum. And at the time, this is way, way back in the day, you had three top go-go bands, Trouble Funk, EU, Rare Essence. But no promoter could put all three of them on one bill. It would either be EU in essence, essence in trouble, but you never had the top three go-go bands in DC in one venue. My dad was the first person to do that at the Washington Coliseum. And I remember that because me and my good friend, Andrew Fields, we used to work concessions. And people was like, oh, you get to get the Coliseum, man. Who you know? I was like, my father run this shit. And we would go do our, sell our concessions and stuff. And after that, we would go check out the bands. And I remember this vividly. And y'all understand while I'm sharing this story. But I remember my mother, who also worked in concession, concession, she came and she said, Donnell, they looking for your dad. And when my, when my mother said they looking for your dad, I knew they wasn't looking for, I first off, I knew who they was. And this before it had anything to do with the LBGT community. They was Popo. They looking for your dad. And I also knew that if they looking for my dad, they don't got him, he on the run. And I don't know if anybody have had that experience uh, of a situation that hits you as a child immediately and you say to yourself, oh shit, I might not ever see my father again. I might not ever see my father again. And my heart goes out to those kids. And you can say whatever. Well, he was doing this and he was doing that or whatever. But it's still some kids involved in some parents. And that's why I encourage people. And I'm not saying I live a, a life where, like I'm a innocent motherfucker. But this could be a check for some people to realize what really is the most important thing in your life. And I will say, you know, 
I'm pretty sure if you under the influence of some heavy drugs, you don't give a fuck about none of that. But sometimes you gotta get to a point, you're gonna get to a point where you have to reflect on what you did. And is it too late to ever change your ways? Have anybody on this live has shared the experience that like I had when I was younger, not uh, knowing when they're gonna see their dad, and also their dad um, not in their life.